Welcome back everyone to another video and in today's episode I will be doing something that I haven't done on this channel. I will be looking into the free assets that are available throughout the month of February. Uh, so specifically we're going to look at three of these. So we have the industrial area hangar, we have a supermarket and we have a winter forest set. Now I'm going to be looking at these from the game development perspective. Uh, so maybe if you're a filmmaker or whatever, some of these things might not exactly apply to you. Um, and well, I'm going to start in my mind from the worst to the best asset pack in this uh, trio uh, maybe for somebody else it might be this order might be a little bit different but for me uh, that's gonna be it I'm not necessarily saying that these assets are really really bad or anything uh, but it's just in my opinion uh, I'm gonna start with the worst one which in this case will be the uh, winter forest set now why I think this is the worst one is because of the poly count that it has now this and also another thing is that this pack doesn't really offer a lot as you can see there's nothing really in it there is a um, snow material which is actually looking pretty good and also this comes with a few models that we have over here so let's let's run around real quick my fps is a bit low on this one um, of course my video card is not the greatest uh, i'm running a pretty old video card amd uh, r9 390 uh, so it was a good video card back in the day but well for nowadays standards it's not that great anymore uh, now some of these assets are looking pretty good if i'm being honest with you but what i think is really bad about this pack is the poly count so if we would look for example at this rock right here it has 7000 vertices and honestly i don't think it looks that great to be honest with you if we would go to the wireframe you will see the amount of vertices it has in the polygon count um, that's a pretty big count when it comes to game development so i don't think these assets are that great when it comes exactly to the game development side of things but maybe if you're a filmmaker uh, maybe that will be all right for you but personally I think this is the worst pack from the, the ones that are available for the month but the very big plus side to this thing is that if you would have to buy this it is only 5 euros so it is really cheap and uh, I think the price is adequate for the quality that you get because well the things are looking pretty, de pretty decent but um, the amount of vertices that it has I think is a little bit of an overkill. For instance, this winter tree right here, it, it consists of 19,000 uh, triangles and 11,000 vertices. Um, so as you can see, the, the, the amount of vertices is just insane. If you, are, if you want to use this for game development, um, good luck to you. That's all I can say to you. But the material itself, let's have a look at the materials. Uh, so we have the master landscape material, which is blended. So that is really cool because I believe then in that case we should be also able to paint this. So if I select this, go to the paint, yeah, there we go. So yeah, we are allowed to uh, paint this up a little bit. So that's really cool. But other than that, I don't really, uh, I don't really feel that this would be the best asset set. Now let's move on to something a little bit better in my opinion, which would be the hangar pack. So let's not save any changes. Uh, that's not the right map. Uh, the hangar map this one right here should be the real one so let it get a little bit brighter so my fps is going to be a little bit lower because it's compiling shaders for the previous one but this one is looking pretty cool to be honest with you like the grass is looking pretty dope there's a couple of decorative things right here uh, so i believe a lot of you might be interested in maybe downloading this just for the just to add these things to your environment like these blocks and pallets and boxes and uh, these gas gas things right here um, there's a huge hangar available a lot of containers there's like an open container as well which I find really cool uh, some construction site things 
this fence i think is really cool looking as well there is like power poles as well for the electricity all kinds of towers cranes uh, so this pack is actually pretty cool and the price of this thing was only 10 euros so i think that is a really fair price for a pack like this because it does contain quite a lot of things and this is a lot better for for game development in my opinion because the vertice counts were not that high so for example let's have a look at this guy right here so we have the tank and this tank's vertice count is 6,500 uh, something, so it's not too bad, it's, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Uh, so it's not an overkill like the previous one, the textures are pretty high quality as you can see, we can read all the things that's on top of this thing right here, so that's really dope. So we have all kinds of rusty pipes, uh, there's quite a lot of things. So let's have a quick look until we before we switch to the next map. Let's have a quick look at the overview so we can see some of these things separately. So as you can see we have all kinds of floors, uh, so the road pieces, so you can uh, stack up your roads. This is a really cool thing as well, it's like a modular road kit. Um, then we also have uh, this electrical box thing right here, um, some separated planks wooden pallets some of these things are really really dope in my opinion which would be worth to uh, maybe cut out of this project in, and use in some other projects because as you can see here is a bunch of different planks you can choose uh, basically for the decoration purposes in your level here is four types of uh, power poles uh, all kinds of containers with different colors open closed ones gates uh, fencing also modular kit which is really really dope and let's have a look at the vertice count. The vertice count is just perfect. 35 vertices. You can't ask for anything more. So this pack is really, really cool. Um, let's see what else we got. So this one vertice count 44. Perfect. This one 46. Just, just great to say the least. This is really, really great. So I strongly suggest you download this pack because it's free only for this month. And once you get it, it's free and it's yours to keep. Uh, so don't miss out on this opportunity. Download this pack. I think this one is actually really, really worth it. And also, as you can see, the hanger is modular as well. Uh, so you can make bigger hangers, smaller hangers. Obviously, you can scale all of these models as well. And yeah, I, I think this, this pack is really, really worth it. Uh, let's go to the last pack, uh, which is the supermarket pack. It is 50 euros, uh, but obviously this month it is available for free. This pack, I think, is really, really dope. So if you haven't downloaded this one yet, trust me you're missing out uh, one thing though i am lagging a bit uh, as i said my video card is not the greatest in this supermarket the thing is that this map uses a lot of lights there's like loads and loads of lights these fridges especially use a lot of lights there are, i believe eight lights for each uh, refrigerator section so i'm getting pretty low fps but when i was looking at the overview that was that, that map gave me a lot better fps but this thing comes with so many awesome models uh, if you want to create your own store i think this is the pack to go uh, there's all kinds of products available all kinds of shelves so I strongly suggest you get this one. So let's real quick go to the assets map. Let's let's have a look at the overview of this thing. So one one downside that I found this uh, actual building itself is not modular. So you're going to have to create the store yourself because probably you're not going to want to use this one because it's probably going to be in many, many games already. Uh, but all the other models are really, really cool. So we have a quite a big selection of shelves that we can use one thing that i forgot to show you in the preview was that these shelves right here as you can see here they are all empty so all those models that were placed into them are separated and here are all the products so you can select what products you want uh, this will be a huge head start if you are creating a store because it comes with all kinds of things there's like these conserve things uh, we have cat food as well uh, some rice i guess chips um, beans and whatnot, chocolates, fruits, vegetables, uh, even ice cream. Imagine they have even the ice cream section. So that's really dope. Uh, and some things that are like that will really, really create like this realistic look. There's like tissues and toilet papers and all kinds of sanitary things like cleaning things, shampoos, all that good stuff.
So yeah, I really suggest you get this pack and the hangers pack. Uh, these two will probably come in very handy if you are obviously creating a store, if you need like a store scene or whatever, uh, this thing is going to be really, really worth it. One thing that I just now noticed, this thing right here changes. So after a while, this thing should, there we go. It changes the material, so something else gets drawn on top of it. So that is also something that is really, really cool about this pack. So I'm usually very, very negative about these free asset packs and basically Unreal Engine Marketplace content overall, um, because often the things that you see and what you think it is, is not exactly what you get in return because uh, for example like this winter pack it's not exactly great for the game development Ob obviously when you are going into the description of those things so for example if we would open up this winter pack in the marketplace it does tell you that there's the vertice vertex count uh, you can try to look at it and think about it like whether it's it fits your needs or maybe it's too high but on the other hand like it says that the vertex count is from 11 up until 27,000 so you're, you're not sure exactly uh, what is going to be the amount for of vertices for the trees or for saplings or rocks or whatever uh, so you're always guessing about this so this is a these free packs are actually a really good thing that Unreal Engine is doing that they're giving these away for free so we can actually Actually experiment and test with these and then later on uh, keep on using them so yeah that's a quick look at these assets uh, I strongly suggest that you get this pack for sure and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it hope this was useful if if you like these type of videos of me over overviewing these assets and if you want me to continue doing these once a month because Unreal Engine posts these uh, things once a month then let me know in the comment section down below and I will create a video uh, basically each month when they release a new pack so yeah thank you for watching and I see you in the next one